Hey everybody, welcome to Adventures with Peps. We are doing a mini battle report and it's a very simple one. I discussed this idea in another video and I'm going to attempt to do some of the Mongoose Games missions from previous editions of this game. One of these missions was a simple judge versus judge battle report. Basically one judge has gone rogue and the other comes to put them down. So that's what we're going to do today. We're on a very simple two foot by two foot board and I've created a simple alleyway. I don't know if I can zoom out as I bang my mic. I can zoom in, but I'm as close as I can get to the table, sadly. Um, I'm actually using my laptop and taking notes via a mic on my camera and testing out the sound, which ultimately failed, so I'm now doing a voiceover instead to save your ears. I kept the terrain simple with some random scatter terrain throughout the alley. One judge will start on the far end and one start judge will start up here and it's going to be a simple gunfight. I'm using the street judge stats so nothing too special. They'll both get the ability to use a starship and that's about it. They have the same stats, both going to have gang, uh, gunfighter making the them exactly the same to keep it simple. We're going to have judge Sila as the good cop and he's starting down at the front chasing down the rogue cop judge prince who's killing random perps at the far end of the table. Basically, because there's only two models, I'm going to use the dice to see who goes first each turn. One, two, three will be Judge Prince. Four, five, six will be Judge Sila. Wing conditions is last judge standing, so it's pretty simple. Uh, I'm thinking this shouldn't take long, so let's dive in. Turn one, and it's a six. I got these goblin dice via Instagram from OG Paintworks. I'll make sure to drop a link down below so you can check them out. Judge Sila is going to start. He has two actions. First thing he wants to do is make sure he can get a nice clean shot without putting himself in too much danger. Currently, there is a car in the way. Would have been nicer to make Prince move first, but I'm going to walk over here and see what the view is like. I'm going to say he's getting some cover. I'm going to go light cover, keep it nice and simple. Uh, and so that's going to add one to Judge Prince's defense. Judge Sila is shooting his lawgiver ammo. So I'm going to be taking a shot at Judge Prince. I know I'm only on a two foot board, so he's definitely a close range. Uh, so he has a shot four and we get a few hits, which is nice. And now Judge Prince gets a chance to evade didn't do enough to pin him so prince is looking for a 2000 ad logo and we did not get one we got a shield so let's move on to power power of the lawgiver is four so we're now looking for some hits here we go oh my god we got three hits and a 2000 ad prince has a defensive three plus one for being in light cover so he's going to need three shields here and we get two which leaves two behind, so that is not enough. Uh, it's been a while since I played, so let me just double check that I'm playing this right. Uh, we get target is seriously injured, so we got to place two injury markers on the model, and all his model stats are now reduced by one for each of these markers, and he can only remove them with a hunker down. So straight away, Prince is in trouble. He started with a call of four, so he's basically lost half his health in that one shot. Uh, Silas seeking swift justice is going to attempt a cool roll and put his chip back in the bag. Uh, we're looking for a 2000 AD and he got it. He got it. So it's time to find out who's going to go next. One, two, three, Prince, four, five, six. It will be Sila. And we got a four. So it's Sila again. He's bloodthirsty, guys. We've got to watch out. I think we're going to move closer and try and get rid of the last bit of defense that poor Prince has got. Should be able to get around here. Um, I'm probably going to rearrange the camera a little bit so that everyone can see poor Prince as he is in heavy trouble now. Uh, Sila is going to pop another shot at him, rolling five dice this time. We are, of course, looking for hits, and we got three hits this time. Uh, that's more than his current cool stat. So Judge Prince is now pinned. Prince is in some real trouble right now. So he would normally be able to evade with two, but because he's injured, he's just getting auto hit now. Oh, that is painful. So powerful weapon. And he scored the one hit. Only the one hit. Is that going to be enough? I don't know. I don't know. It's really not looking good for Prince. If he can roll an armor, he gets stunned and it will reduce his cool to three. Oh, let's, uh, let's see what I can get here. 
find my dice. Have I got enough dice? I did not roll anything. So he is taking another injury marker. He is on cool one now. And he is in real bad shape. He is bleeding onto the floor. Uh, judge Siler has definitely come on a mission to kill this corrupt judge. The prince down to a cool of one. He is looking rough. So Siler is going to attempt and put his chip back in the bag. And didn't roll a single 2000 AD. He has now pinned himself. Good, good move. This could be the opening Prince needs. So it's definitely Prince's turn, so we don't have to do that. Can he get rid of the pin? Nope. Thanks to that call of one. He absolutely failed that. So due to all his injuries, he can only move three inches. So I think we're going to tuck him in behind this card to get him some heavy cover. And we can't even clean up his injuries. So we're pretty much screwed. Let's be honest. We're going to try and put the chip back in the bag with a call of one. This is not going to be easy. See if we can do it. And off camera that rolled. It was a hit. So he has failed and pinned himself. Prince is now pretty much screwed. Um, we're going to go into turn two. That was a really good turn one. Let's see who goes first. One, two, three, Prince, four, five, six, Sila. It's Sila again. He is going to use his full cool of four to attempt to get rid of that pin. And he gets his 2000 AD. So he's got rid of that for free. Let's try and clean up my view. I gotta remember to uh, focus on the character whose turn it is. Uh, right, we need to slide across a little so that Prince can't get heavy cover. So we're gonna use our first action just to move sideways a little bit and clean up my vision. This shouldn't be too difficult now. I'm gonna be kind and say the trunk is still giving him some cover. I'm gonna say he's got light cover for this. We score some hits, nice and simple. We're now going to try and do an evade roll, but he doesn't get it because he's got so many injury markers. Oh my God, so this is straight into power four. Prince is now screwed. Uh, he's got no armor left, so a single hit and yeah, three hits. I did roll one dice for the light cover just to make sure, but yeah, it failed. He is down, he is dead. That was bloody brutal. And I hope you enjoyed. That was a quick dirty battle report. I recommend you try it. I'll drop it into the comments section in the community page so you can see what rules I was trying to use. And I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you did and I'll do another video again soon. But until then, cheers for watching.